Hey guys, this is Jeremy from DSC Sport. I'm going to be going over the reading and writing and communication with the DSC Sport controller. So here I have my DSC Sport Tuner software 1.8.3. I'm going to open that up. And here I actually have a C7 V4 controller that I will be connecting to. Typically your computer will make a noise for connection. Another way you can verify this just quickly for you guys, you go to your device manager and verify under ports that you have your Silicon Labs driver. So here in the menu options for the software, you have under file new to create a new file open to open existing PDTS file or calibration file vehicle type select I already have C7 selected save save as an exit tools is your serial settings for your COM port codes and configuration will be for extracting fault data as well as version of your firmware and then what we will be discussing is reading and writing to the controller a great practice to verify communication to your controller is by selecting under tools reset board when board's reset prompt pops up you know you have established communication to the controller there's no data being extracted or deleted on the controller only the processor is being rebooted so here go under tools to read all from the controller you're going to want to select begin and let the green bar fill up completely you want to also pay close attention to those to make sure it doesn't skip numbers freeze or stop completely don't unplug your controller during this process do not so as we complete the prompt I'll close it out and you'll see your data generate here's all your data for your g-force your break table your Excel table speed PTM is only accessed in track mode for the C7s your shock calibration your velocity table and your settings tab to be able to view the different modes and what you can do with each one so say I open this calibration file here I have the latest calibration file dated on our website all I'll need to do again good practice is to make sure you still have communication to your controller and select write all and begin again you want to make sure that the bar fills up completely with no delay or freezing during this sequence do not unplug your controller After you've completed this step and closed out the writing application, all you need to do is unplug the controller and go test it with your new calibration file applied. When you do the write all, this writes to all three modes of the controller. If you are looking for a more advanced writing to write to a single mode or for example taking the sport mode and writing it to touring you would do it right here you would show and edit the tables for sport for example if you're trying to write your sport to touring and then you would select write tables to chassis touring and then select this button to write to the DSC 
essentially overlaying the sport map to the touring mode or sport mode excuse me to the touring mode so that's all you need to essentially remember for reading and writing to the controller with our calibration files and PDTS files if you have any more questions on this video, feel free to email us at info at dscsport.com.